terms of uh, realising our, our potential, um, really our, uh, our, our bid is founded on uh, some of the significant strengths that we do have. We haven't rested on our, our laurels, and as I said earlier, we've got that real uh, sense of purpose. The track record really is around demonstrating what we've done with existing resources, so really this is in the, the context of the submission. And, um, Interesting to see. Actually, we've been managing large sums of money for quite a period of time, and I, I suggest that plays well to government in terms of our ability to continue to manage those resources in the future. What's been extremely helpful is that. As Catherine alluded to earlier in terms of the single investment fund, really it's the strength around how we complement local growth fund three monies with other monies that are available to us. And as I said, that program approach to delivery, which is important. So what I wanted to do here is just um, spend uh, a couple of minutes really summarising what I think Assets. Marine energy is another example of where, for example, that could be 
accessibility enhancements to support our priority housing and employment growth sites, and then a package around improving and enhancing our local rail network. And finally, and last but not least, housing. And that's really about increasing the supply of home ownership at all levels across the market. And it's really about making our Liverpool city region an attractive place for people to live and therefore attractive for businesses to invest. Really, there's a lot of work that we can do to facilitate that through enabling remediation specific to housing sites, for example, or indeed supporting on site infrastructure. I appreciate that's a very quick whistle stop tour through um, what is a, a really strong uh, emerging document. And in terms of the recommendations, um, if you're minded to approve, uh, you can see there in front of you, you've still got. submit our bid, a lot of fine tuning that will need to take place. <coughs> what I would conclude by saying is that the support from all sectors across the city region and local, local authorities has been fantastic. This is really an example of strong collaboration. I'll see it, thank you. Okay, and, uh, okay. I, I mean, I, I have to say, I to uh, item uh, 7 which is the City Leading Drug Deal Scheme and it's basically um, to consider uh, this is a, it's a first and phase of the full business case uh, for the Littlewood Studio Project. Uh, we were pre pre previously approved this, the outline business case earlier in, in, in the year. Um, Captain, anything that needs to be highlighted on this? Any, any issues or whatever? Or? Okay, it's, it's me actually, Chair. No, the report should be self-explanatory. Uh, the key bits are that it's been through the second stage of the assurance framework and has been independently. The business case has been independently appraised and, and shown to provide uh, good value for money. Uh, and you know, it, it, it verifies the, the outline business case which is previously considered in March. But then the only significant bit is this is the first of the LGF schemes uh, for regen coming through the pipeline. Uh, previous one. Uh, can we get on with that, please? 
to uh, item 8, which is, a, again, uh, a growth deal scheme, the Alston Transport Technology Centre, um, 600 jobs, uh, investments, and the outline business case, um, and conversations have been had with the company about our assurance that we not join.
Item 11, then, we move on, is the skills, capital, and investments. And we're, uh, Sue, uh, I don't know, do you want to do a short presentation for us? Yeah.
So can we uh, agree that it's a, a pretty a straightforward document? Yes? Okay, 15 is the uh, local ground fund performance. And we talk about the local ground fund um, uh, on the agenda uh, at this meeting. This report highlights the expenditure there for 215, 216. And again, it's pretty self explanatory. authority nominations to uh, the audit committee. Um, I'd be like to say that uh, Councillor uh, Andy Moorhead is, uh, is delighted in his absence of <laughs> our nomination uh, for uh, that position. In fact, I can see him smiling here uh, in my mind. And also, Rob is going to continue his role as this your The audit committee, Rob, you're, you're is the devolution of powers and resources to the city region. It's progress on the executive capacity. It's pretty clear um, that, that it's talking about, about, about progress. Um, and anybody want to make any, any comments on that? I've got something to make. Anybody want to make any, any comments on that at all? Chair, I wanted to say that what we're recommending is to continue the process for recruiting to develop the proposals and the documentation that are set out there in paragraph 2.1b, a to e, and we also need to amend the constitution, we'll bring a report back to the next meeting, setting all that out for you so that we can ensure that the, the combined authority has a staffing structure to fit for purpose. Well, I, I mean, I, I'd just like to make, make a comment, I mean, obviously uh, people are, are aware that there's a, uh, an election safety So um, I will leave the rest of it on that and just ask you to agree.
limitations as set out to the report, please. Okay, the uh, next item on the agenda is um, item 18, which is the uh, minutes of the City Beat Information Travel uh, Committee. That was held on the 7th of April. Can I ask you to confirm those minutes, please? Okay, there are no uh, agent items uh, for discussion. The next meeting of the combined authority is on the 19th of August. So can I now declare the meeting closed? Thank you.